Hello everyone and welcome to the Rest in God YouTube channel. Today we're going to cover the book of Ephesians. The book of Ephesians was wrote during the time Paul was in prison in AD 60 to 62. The city of Ephesus was a melting pot of many mystery religions and also home to a pagan temple dedicated to the Roman goddess Diana. Paul would write this letter to the Ephesian believers to convince them of their spiritual blessings in Christ. If you have your Bible, turn to Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3 through 6. Praise the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens. For he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love he predestined us to be adopted through Jesus Christ for himself, according to his favor and will, to the praise of his glorious grace, that he favored us in the beloved. Look with me in verse 3. Blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens. The key words are in Christ, spiritual blessings, and in the heavens. We have spiritual blessings in Christ in the heavenly realms. Look with me in verse 4. For he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. The Father chose us before the foundation of the world. Before eternity passed, before creation, God chose us even before Genesis 1.1. Let's look at this choosing in Scripture. Acts 13, 48 And when the Gentiles heard this, they began rejoicing and glorifying the word of the Lord. As many as were appointed to eternal life believed. In Scripture we have two parallel concepts. One is human responsibility and the other is God's responsibility. The, the Father appoints us eternal life, and our responsibility is to believe and accept Christ. Turn with me, if you would, to 2 Thessalonians 2.13. But we must always thank God for you, brothers, loved by the Lord, because from the beginning God has chosen you for salvation, through sanctification, by the Spirit, through belief in truth. 2 Timothy 1.9 He has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to works, but according to his own purpose and grace which was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began. God chose us for his purpose before time began. John fifteen sixteen, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you, that you should go and bear fruit, that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you asked in the Father's name, he may give it to you. God, speaking to the apostles, told them that he chose them, and they didn't choose him. God set his love on us. Turn with me to Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 7 through 8. The Lord your God has chosen you to be his own possession out of all the peoples on the face of the earth. The Lord was devoted to you and chose you, not because you were more numerous than all the peoples, for you were the fewest of all the peoples, but because the Lord loved you and kept the oath he swore to your fathers. The Father decided to choose the Israelites not because of human merit or their numerous people, but instead because of his oath to the fathers 
and also because he loved them. The next spiritual blessing we will see is predestined to adoption in Christ. First, let's clarify the term predestined. Predestined is the word perizo. It means to preordain or predetermine. Let's look at Ephesians 1 5. He predestined us to be adopted through Jesus Christ for himself according to his favor and will. Before time began, God predestined us to adoption through his Son according to his purpose. So, what was his purpose? We'll find it in verse 6. To the praise of his glorious grace that he favored us within the beloved. He chose us before time so that we would praise him. So what is our ultimate purpose? Our ultimate purpose is to be more like Christ. Romans 8, 28 through 30. And we know... For those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to his purpose. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of the Son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. So now that we know the purpose of why God chose us, let's look at what his motive is and the conclusion and application. God blessed us, God blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. God predestined before time to choose us, not because of human merit and not because of anything we did. So what was the motive? If you were to ask me why God chose me, I would say, I don't know. Is it because I'm more righteous than my unbelieving neighbor? Maybe I did something to earn it. Maybe there was something in me. The truth is, absolutely not. Let's look at Ephesians 1 4 to find the motive. For he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and blameless in, in his sight, in love. God's motive for choosing us before the foundation of time was love. Isn't that an amazing thought? Let's look at 1 John 4.19. As 1 John states, We love because he first loved us. I would like to close with one of my favorite quotes. God did not choose us because we were worthy, but by choosing us, he makes us worthy. Thomas Watson.